Yo, check it. Ryan Garcia responds to Floyd Mayweather and his bet to reach Tank Davis by going through Roley. And Oscar De La Hoya responds to Floyd Mayweather regarding his fighter, Ryan Garcia. We going back to back. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. We grinding. A lot going on. Tyson Fury signed an ESPN deal, right? I've covered this. You know, Floyd still rocking Gucci. Ryan Garcia got offered a 200,000 bet, which we're going to talk more about by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, let's start right there. Floyd Mayweather, he did an interview with TMZ, and he says he was on the phone with Tank, you know, doing like a FaceTime or something. I did a video about this, but let me just recap what happened. He was on the phone with Tank. TMZ says, oh, what about Javante Tank Davis, your fighter, Mayweather promotions fighter, along with Ryan Garcia? And Floyd was like, he don't want that. He, he, no, the fuck he don't, you know, saying Ryan Garcia don't want no piece of it. And he says, you know what? Tell you what, you know, his last paycheck is like $50,000. You know, that's what it was recorded. He made, I'll give Ryan Garcia 200,000 if he could beat my other fighter, Ro Roly Romero, right? Who he has some history with. They've sparred. And if he beats him, he'll get $200,000 from me directly. And if he loses, then don't ever mention fighting Tank. I don't even want to hear you utter his name. That was the terms. That was the bet. This is Ryan Garcia, his response, TMZ Sports. Link in the description. Shout out to them. They caught up with him, and Ryan Garcia responded to that. It says, boxer Ryan Garcia fires back at Floyd with a $1 million demand, right? It says, if Floyd... Let's read it right here. If Floyd wants to do business with undefeated boxer, star, boxing star, Ryan Garcia, who's 17-0, he's going to have to break out the checkbook. Garcia just watched our video, and Floyd told TMZ that he wants the 20-year-old to fight one of his rising stars, Rolando Roly Romero, if he wants to get the big money fight with Tank Davis. Oh, is that tank on Garcia there? says oh, he's down to right scrap there. with Roley, oh, but he's got demands of his own, DMZ, namely a $1 million dollar bonus if he knocks can they, Roley oh, out. Can they fuck with you? Quote, on the Floyd situation, you have always been the biggest mouth in the room, Garcia says. Okay, talk is real, real cheap. No more talk, he added. Actions speak louder than words. I will fight your fighter, but I'm going to need 100, or excuse me, 1 million if I knock him out, and I'll take the 200,000 to beat him. So Actually, he's basically do, firing back with the counter on. Ryan Garcia said he wants to fight. If tank. I just beat him, like well, on the court, on the cards or whatever, I'm putting the money up right now. If I now, knock him out, Ryan then Garcia I need you to give me a million dollars. Roley, I give and him the TMZ says, "Hey, it's cash. progress." If he can Remember beat him, Floyd's he offer. One of other he said he's willing Roley, to cut who have, a two hundred thousand uh, dollar check. Less fights than he has. Roley, he's going to fight. He's going to fight. But Garcia's counter is the knockout bonus. A cool one million if he ends the fight early. With the KO in addition to the two hundred thousand oh, so dollar victory to get, money, your move. To get the if he didn't get through Roly, did he get tanked? To me, this is kind of a dead issue right, right, he don't deserve right it. now. Then because he don't, he don't that, deserve it. But who had he know, beat? That is not Take two time world champion right. and a, a multi millionaire. Let's say the UFC he organization. The they do the they do the win bonus. Like Amanda Nunes or whoever will get a certain amount of money, and if she wins, she'll get more money. You know. So I've heard of win bonuses, but he offered 200000 which is significantly more than, you know, Ryan Garcia's on record earning. Ryan Garcia, they said for his last fight on a Canelo card, he got $50,000. So that, you know, that's a lot greater. That's more than four times greater the amount that was initially put up. And it's greater. It's like four times what he got in his last fight, you know? So that doesn't sound realistic. Meanwhile, Oscar De La Hoya jumped in the mix on his verified page this is what oscar had to say he said ryan garcia is a 15-time national champion fighter to put him in the ring against a six rounder like roley would be like putting a mlb pitcher up against a high schooler not fair if floyd wants to make a fight happen 
All he has to do is call me and we'll put together a fair fight. My thoughts, you know, shout out to Roly, shout out to Ryan Garcia, you know, Noah. That it sound De La Hoya sounds like he's capping. Here's why. Because you're just discounting the Roly fight, but the two have history. And he's saying it's, you know, comparable to an MLB pitcher and a high schooler. But I talked to Rolanda. You know, I'm going to dig in the crates. If the fans want me to, I have an exclusive interview. I watched uh, Roly train, you know, and I have an exclusive interview. And I never dropped it because I got real busy just covering fights. And, you know, I was actually at a fight week. And I'm going to look for it. If the fans want it, I'll look for it. And it's it's a, my own footage and exclusive. And he was talking about the, the fight. And he's a power puncher. Anytime you're a puncher like Ro, Rolando, you, you got a chance. But Ryan Garcia is also a good fighter as well. But the reason De La Hoya is capping is because the two have already sparred, even albeit it was years ago. Ryan Garcia has a new situation with Canelo's trainer, Eddie Reynoso, and Chepo. You know, maybe he's improved, things like that. But the sparring is still up from a couple years ago, and it was entertaining, you know, all the way around. And you can find the video floating on the net. And the comments were a mixed bag. Some people were saying, oh, Ryan Garcia was outboxing him. Some people said Roley was, like, you know, hurting him. And he had a bloody nose, you know. So it's a mixed bag. So I, I can't I can't co-sign the, it's, he's a 15-time champion, which is, you know, that's cool. That's a fact. But you're saying it, it's, like, unfair in, to the point where you wouldn't make it. I think Roley versus Ryan Garcia, that would be a better and bigger fight than the previous opponent like who is that Colin Kaepernick looking dude that De La Hoya put Ryan Garcia in with his last fight you get what I'm saying so he's I think De La Hoya is like kind of downplaying it but the fact of the matter is the sparring is already leaked people have seen it and it was a fun affair you know shout out to both Garcia and Roley you know I'm not in in their little beef or whatever that they got going on but for De La Hoya to just say, oh, Floyd, call me. We'll make a real fight. But this is unfair. And like, you, we don't believe you need more people because according to the spar, it, the, the sparring, let the fans speak. You know, the fans in the comment section were mixed on who won and what would happen. And I know Roley personally, and he be he be talking that talk about Ryan Garcia. And he like try to pull up on him and stuff like that. So it's a fun fight. And to me, it'd be... Um, definitely a better backstory and, and bigger fight than than the previous guys that you know Jason Velez and guys like that that he had fought plus you attach the Mayweather brand and 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 name surname I mean I think it'd be big because people would look at it kind of like De La Hoya and Mayweather you know just because it's their promotional entities working together going against each other and then the promoters even in the press conference you know stuff like that Floyd might go at De La Hoya vice versa so Look, see, the fans are saying the same thing. I, I just read it for the first time. You saw them boys spar, right? I know it's sparring, but it's sparring. Roley tries to knock every one of his sparring out instead of working. Oscar rules, Floyd drools, Viva Mexico. See, people are putting crazy stuff. But anyway, De La Hoya sounds like he capping. I would say make the fight. You know, you can't just discount Roley like that because, again, Ro Roley is a puncher. I w Man, let me find the tapes. And I'll get back with y'all. I got to find the tape. He's a puncher. Trust me. I was right there in the gym listening to the punches. You, you know, he's a puncher. So we would have to see under the bright lights, no headgear and stuff like that. What happens? That's a great fight. And again, to me, it would be probably the biggest fight. Roly is from Vegas, you know, and he signed with the money team. So, you know, that's you can make it right there. Uh, Ryan Garcia got fans everywhere. He got two million followers and stuff. So... He lives in, in Victorville or SoCal, San Diego area, wherever. You know, Vegas ain't, is a short trip for all the fans. So I would say make the fight, you know, but it doesn't look like it will probably happen between what De La Hoya tweeted and then, you know, Ryan Garcia asking for a million dollars, you know, if he knocks out Roley. You know, I don't know. But Floyd got money like that. So well, who knows? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Who would win if you watched the sparring? What did you think? Leave a detailed comment. You know, we just working. If you like what we're doing, smash the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new. 
Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.